What is up guys, it is Nick. We are back and it is time to do the Ninja Awakening. So quick story, I got up like early this morning. I got up at like 7.45 and looked at my phone and it was like, oh, it's been delayed to like 10. And I was like, oh my gosh. So I went back to sleep, but I couldn't really go back to sleep. I went back to sleep for like 45 minutes and then I just couldn't go back to sleep. So I got up, I made myself a fantastic breakfast and it is time to get this all kicked off. I got my Red Bull... And it's all good to go. I was going to go to bed early last night in order to get up and do this today. And then I just got distracted. And I stayed up way later than I wanted to. So we've got Ninja Awakening, Journey to the West. The Black Spirit wants you to remember the good old days and try to gain new power from old memories. Meet Valentine in Florin. So where is Florin? So... Florin is all the way on the other side of the continent. So I'm going to make a quick cut here and uh, we'll see you over in Florin. All right. So we are in Florin now and it's time to talk to Valentine or Valentine. Uh, welcome. We've got a magnificent selection of good herbs. Oh, it's you. Hmm. I don't know what to say. Unfortunately, there is no perfect herb for that disease yet, but this should be enough to alleviate the symptoms. Huh, why am I giving it to you? What the heck are you talking about? Okay, what are we supposed to do now? I did talk to him. Oh, just regular chat now. Herbs can be used for countless things. I speak from experience, not from faith in something like magic. Do I know you? Huh? What was that about? This is the first place you saw it and visited as soon as you reached the west, looking for some kind of herb to cure that disease or something. Then you left for Olvia to take care of some other stuff, and I haven't seen you ever since. Narusoa, you said. You were an escort captain there, if I remember correctly. You came all the way here for your lord. So you came all this, all the way here to save your mistress, and you got yourself into bigger trouble. Oh my, tisk tisk. I need more time to look into this case. So far, no patient with the same symptoms as your mistress has been reported. Just give me some more time, okay? I will get it done. Somehow. Uh, you, how about you visit Altanova? A soldier visited me a while ago, and he was from the east, just like you. He was also after the same kind of medicine. Perhaps he can help you out somehow. Okay, so now we need to go meet... Shadachi or Shadaichi in Altanova... Which I think is kind of far away from here. Uh, yep. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Well, I'll see you guys in a moment. Back in Altanova. Alright, we're back. Let's see. I'm really hoping that, you know, when I get here, we do not have to run all the way across the map again. Because I swear I have like four minutes of actual video footage recorded for you guys. And like two hours of running across the map. Not actual two hours, but like 30 minutes of running. It's been, it's been, uh, you know, because I was in Altanova, obviously. Then I accepted it and I had to run all the way across the map. And then I had to run all the way back to Altanova. It's like... It's about as unlucky as I could get, but all my characters are in Altanova. It's just how it works because this be this is like my central hub. Once I get like get to this point of the game, this is where all my characters are stationed, kind of. So if I log into any of my characters, they're more than likely here. There's a chance they're not, but but more more than likely they're here. So time to see what we've got next. I'm trying to take a shortcut here, and it's not really working. I almost just not want to fall in that water there. The, the swimming in this game is, is iffy. is iffy at best. So here we go. Let's hope that we... Let's hope that we, uh, we get something to do here that's not run across the map again. Hey, buddy. What do you need from me? You don't look like a refugee. What are you, then? What? You come from the house of Narusawa? Nonsense. You expect me to believe that? I can reveal who I am now that we're out here in the West. But we had to completely conceal our identities back there, even with our own circle. Prove that you are truly a Narusawa warrior. If you really are what you say you are, it shouldn't be that hard. Okay, so now we need to learn the ninja quality of self-restraint. 
A ninja must always control himself, even when finishing the enemy. An average mission can put a lot of stress on any ninja. Even if you grow to personally hate a target, there's no need to excessive harm. Uh, a ninja without self-restraint will never be successful in his work. There's just the right place to test your self-control, the soldier's graveyard. Tenacity. A ninja must be tenacious. No matter how strong the target is, ninjas must commit themselves to completing the mission. Without tenacity, a ninja's mission is bound to fail. Have you ever fought mains? They may be able to frustrate you. And patience. A ninja must learn how to be patient. Always overestimate your enemy and wait until you are at least 99% sure that you can beat it. Be you can beat it. Beat of it? Beat it. Uh, patience is the key to a ninja successfully completing a mission. Perhaps that can test your patience at Hasra Ruins. Okay, so we need to defeat ancient weapons at the Hasra Ruins, defeat 50 mains, and we need to defeat skellies. So, let me come up here and we'll figure out what we want to... I just almost jumped in the water. Okay. What do we want to do first? So... Does it not have, it doesn't have a quest selected yet. Okay. So let's do quality of self-restraint. Okay, I think that's the one I want to do because we go here and then we can hit that. I don't know where Hasra ruins are. Oh, oh, Hasra ruins are here. So they're all right here. So yeah, we want to do that one first. And then we want to come down here and then hit the mains, I think. Probably. Probably, but uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys in a second. We'll head on over there and we'll finally get to doing something in this video that's not running, even though I'm kind of far away. But you know what? We'll, we'll get there. So I'll see you guys in just a moment. And we're back at our old nemesis, which is this area, and we're already getting swarmed. Oh yeah, we still do no damage. Fantastic. We're still dealing no damage to these enemies, so we're going to have to get this out of the way nice and quickly. Because we are under-leveled for this. And it is not... We're under... Not under-leveled, but we're under-AP'd for this. Okay, get up. Get up, ninja. What do I have to do here? And my controller batteries are low. So, I need to kill, oh my gosh, I need to kill three, or I need to kill 15 frenzied and three grudged. There's a grudge skeleton right here. Oh, this is, this is a tragedy, dude. Why is this area so much harder than the other areas? I don't get it. Like, the other stuff that is considered, like, level appropriate through the game is not it's not this hard this area is just like extra special hard and i don't get it there's a bunch of frenzied stuff here so that's good the grudge stuff is the harder stuff okay i just love getting stunned into oblivion that's my favorite pastime like, we deal no damage. This damage is just pathetic. So we're at 6 out of 15 and 1 out of 3. Okay, I should probably go find grud... Okay, bro, let me up. I need a grudged enemy. Look, there's another ninja here who's clearly stronger than me. Um, I need a grudged enemy. There's a grudge skeleton right here. Hey, buddy. I want to get those out of the way first. Oh, this is just, this is just sadness personified. I think once we get this out of the way, we're clear. Because I think the other two areas are not this bad. For me, at least. Like, like for my character's levels, I don't think they're that bad. Why are there so many big dudes here? Just let me kill the little grudge dude. Come back here, buddy. This is like... half. Okay, there we go. We killed the grudged enemy. Oh my gosh, you guys hit like freaking trucks. Kill him. Kill him. 
still... <sighs> okay, these guys don't count. It's got to be Frenzied Skeleton. So hold on. Yeah, I know I need to kill those guys, but I'm still being followed by the big dudes. Hello, group of friend with Frenzied Skeletons. You are what I needed to find. Then I have to go find one more grudged. Oh, good. There just always has to be a big guy. I can't just, you know, casually kill these easier guys. Now, we had to get big guy here. Big Chungus over here to come in. Alright. Oh, there's another big dude. Hurry up. Hurry up. Kill him. Kill him. Heal. I gotta kill these frenzied skeletons that I got low. There we go. We got 11 out of 15. All right, let's go over here. Frenzied, frenzied. I need a grudged. I want to get the grudged out of the way. Uh, grudged, hello? Oh, here we go, grudged. Oh, grudged over here, nice. Okay. Okay, here we go. Heal. Come on, get unstunned, buddy. What the... What the? I just jumped across the map? Okay, we're stunned. Heal. Just spam the heal while I'm stunned. Can I get... Oh my gosh, I'm still stunned. Okay. Let's get the spin. Just spin to win around them. Ooh, heal. Dodge. Get this off while I can. Get that off while I can. I don't know. Uh, hello is the grudged. Okay, heal. There's too many of these big idiots that slam me into the ground. Chill. I don't know where the grudged one went. Okay, we need one more of each. Oh no, we did complete the grudged. Okay, we just gotta kill a frenzied and I'm not even fighting a frenzied. Go, 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 go over here. Okay, here we go. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Just die. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. Get out of here, get out of here. Get me all the way out of here. Get me to safety game. Okay. Okay, I'm safe. Whew, okay. So now we need to go to the ancient ruins. So let's go ahead and run over there. I got a little dicier than I thought. Okay, it's a little bit away. I'll run there. I'll see you guys in just a moment. All right, so we are coming up on the ancient ruins right now. The Hasra ancient ruins. So we need to kill 40. I'm hoping, you know, I'm not going to get absolute, my cheeks absolutely clapped again by enemies. Uh, it's like just those stupid frenzied skeletons. I don't know what it is. They're just like a different breed. Like, yeah, look at this. Okay, like, I don't do a whole, like, crap ton of damage to these guys. Like, but they're killable, unlike the freaking skeletons. The skellies are ridiculous. They're like, actually destroy your soul's level of dominant. Okay. What are you? This is an area, I'm gonna be honest, this is an area, like, I don't come to. Because I just don't. It's, like, out in the middle of nowhere. It's, like, out in the middle of nowhere, and I don't think the mob density is the greatest. It, it, it gives you eye experience. We're just gonna see a bunch of ninjas all around everywhere okay i'm gonna adventure a little bit here we're gonna have a little bit of fun with this because a lot of this has been me running around the map so let's adventure a little bit here okay clean Ooh, got a third one that came up go 12 13 13 out of 40. Okay, so here's like the area that I like never come to. 
is this area out here or out here but the area in here that's this deep because i think i think the other ones that i've had to come here for for quests and stuff like that i was able to get it done like in that initial area and not have to come back here but this is where the mob density is if you want to consider you know this mob density i mean it kind of is but it's it's a it's not a whole lot of mobs density Okay, so we are 23 out of 40. We're about halfway through. But yeah, like this is more reasonable. Yeah, it's a little bit of a challenge, but it's not like ridiculous. The, the last area was ridiculous. There we go. Clean all those up. All right, come on, everybody, spawn up, spawn. Hey, you, get out of the ground, buddy. Keep an eye on my health. I say I'm going to keep an eye on my health, and I let it get low. All right, so we're at 36 right now. This might actually be, yeah, this will be it right here. Okay, so there we go. Cleaned all that up. Heal before I die. Oh, baby, I'm slowed down to a snail speed. All right, so now we need to go fight mains. That's the next step in our journey to awakening. Can I get this quest selected really quick? Okay. I'm going to get myself out of this cave. Can you autopath me? Oh, my gosh, the stupid steps. Go, go, go. Okay, I'm going to get myself out of this cave, and I will see you guys in a moment over at the mains. All right, it is time to kill some mains. So I think, eh, I thought this might be the, yeah, this is going to be the easiest one to kill. We got, we got to kill 50 of these bad boys. And it doesn't look like it will be nearly as hard as the other ones. Looks like we'll be able to clean these guys up a lot easier. This is something that I probably should farm more. I do kind of like farming the mains. They're a pretty decent farm. They're just a spot I never really think about going. And that's like that's, that's my own fault. Cuz I definitely I definitely like them as a farm. They 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 have decent mob density. They're not too difficult. They give some mediocre to good experience. So they're definitely something I need to consider more in the future. But yeah, this is... after fight. I'm happy I did them last, because after fighting the other ones, the other stuff that we had to kill for this for our awakening, I can tell you that, uh, that, that these are like five bajillion times easier. I mean, we just slice through these things. Destroy the main tunnel. I'm going to kite everybody over here. Okay, I don't think that kite worked the greatest, but that's all right. It's getting the job done. And easy, easy kills. Up to 44 already. This is going to be 45. Five more needed, and they are right here. And the mission completed. We can head on back. I'm going to finish killing off these guys. Come here, agile main. Oh my gosh, I just got to keep chill, chill. Everybody chill. Okay, so now we need to head back and turn in the quest which is nice and far away in Ultanova. So I will catch you guys in just a moment when we are back in Ultanova. Alrighty, guys, we are back, and we are coming up on turning the quest in and seeing what awaits us next for the Ninja Awakening. Interested to see what it is. And let's talk to our friend the soldier here. All right, unbelievable. Never thought I'd meet a man of such virtue on this foreign soil. 
Unbelievable. Okay, so it's the same thing for all of it. All right, excellent. Sorry I doubted you before. I never imagined I'd meet an old comrade here in the West. I'm not sure what actually happened to you here, but you don't seem like you've retrieved all your memories. I want you to do something before you claim the Sira Katana. The vow to the Narusawa house, it must be renewed. So I gotta renew my vows. The refugees are desperate, but there's nothing we can do. Learn the skill awakening Narusawa's Sura Katana. The refugees are desperate. Okay, Oath of Nawasawa. Quietly recited the Oath of Sudaichi. I ran away after that incident. I could not. I could do nothing of value there. Thankfully, I met someone who helped me work as a soldier here. But I've completely forgotten about the self-respect of a Narusawa warrior. Here, I've been taking care of the Sura Katana. Please do what you will with it. I understand it may feel awkward since you've been away from it for so long. I'd like to help you get used to it again. Use Ninjutsu Shadow Stop first, then take out your katana. So, back X and then Y. Okay, let's try this. Okay, so we get a plus 10 to start, and we also get the Yaga Kumu Saru Katana. Saru Katana. So let's go ahead and equip this. Because it's the, clearly the better. Tempest Sura Katana. So, it's got 106 Awakened AP. Okay. So, back. I don't think that's... I don't think I... I don't think my back... <laughs> it's really weird because the swords are also... Are, are very similar. So this is my short, is this my short sword or my katana? I can't even tell anymore. That's got to be my short sword. Yeah, this is the katana. Oh yeah, this is definitely the katana, because I've never seen that skill before. Okay, let's see. Ooh, what is this? Look at that. Okay. I can get behind that. Um... I don't have many skills for this, obviously. Interesting. Okay, let's turn. Let's okay, let's turn this in. Looks like you're getting in touch with your old self. Nice. Shall we try something harder? Sure. This time, use ankle slash first, then follow up with the corrupt sword dance using. So. LTRB, Transition to Sura Katana, Sword Dance. Okay, let's try this. Wait. It's, it's not doing the attack it wants it to do. It wants me to do... See, my LT plus RB isn't, isn't what it wants it to be. Cause like, hmm. Let's see. I cause it's my skill for. Uh, I have something else that's overriding it, so it's not letting me do. It's not letting me do that slash. So let me let me do this a different way. I don't know what else is LTRB. Well, it's it's a murderous intent. And so because murderous intent is there, I can't actually so Okay, can I it wasn't letting me go back into my Okay, so let's go down here. Or actually I can do it this way. Go into Ooh. ring menu here skills. ankle cutter okay wait skill is unavailable oh there we okay 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 i am stupid i am very stupid okay that wasn't really the greatest there we go okay now this is interesting i had my katana out i didn't have my stupid I was like, I didn't think something was overriding this, but 
I am big stupid. So, okay, we're just going to ignore the fact that I was a moron. Okay. The refugees are desperate. Okay, so that is... Is that the end of the awakening? I think that's the end of the awakening stuff. We'll check with the... Black oh, no, here we go. Awakening weapon. Uh, how does it feel like having an awakening weapon? Are you not happy? Kikiki. <laughs> I know what uh, you want to do, but why don't you enhance your weapon first? If you do enhancement, you know you can upgrade the weapon, right? <laughs> then let's go to Altanova, find the blacksmith, and get it upgraded. All right, so away we go. That was one of the... What the... Hello? Can I... Did it not accept the... Or do I have to talk to him first? What is it auto-pathing me to? Okay. I should... I have it accepted. Okay, let's just go find... Let's just go. We'll just go to Mevo. I know where Mevo is. Let's just go up here to Mevo. It's kind of weird. I like the Sura Katana, but it's kind of weird because... Your regular attacks are a short blade and then your awakening weapon is a katana and they're also i mean they're not the same but they're similar and it's weird because like the ranger has bow to sword which is different play styles the sorceress has amulet slashes to um the scythe which are very different very different play styles Okay, I should probably... Okay, let's pull this up and go to the blacksmith. Okay, I was, I was going on the right path. I just want to make sure I was going on the right path. I don't know why I can't just enhance it with the black spirit, because that's also not... You can just enhance with the black spirit. Uh, is this actually taking me to Mevo? Yeah, it's taking me to Mevo. Good. Some of these towns have two blacksmith, and I was hoping it wouldn't take me somewhere else that wasn't Mevo. All right, Mevo. Oh, you are using a weapon that I haven't seen. No one around in this region uses that weapon. I guess I can enhance the weapon, then. Will you try? Sure. In order to upgrade weaponry, you need to make good use of blackstones. If you own a weapon, then you need to enhance it by yourself. All right. Do not hesitate to invest in enhancing your weapon. Making bold investments in enhancement is more to your advantage in the long term. Uh, by the way, that weapon is, it's a bit broken. Well, well, there must be a way to make it like new. All right, find a guy named Tulum. That person collects precious weapons all around the world. He may have the same weapon. All right, so now we need to go find the weapon dealer. He is right here. So, Tulum. The weapon you are using seems very rare. Ha ha ha, but I also have the weapon. It was hard to find, though. You have to be on good terms with me if you need more of these. I can help you recover max durability if you want. Customers are lining up these days, which means they like my work. Is this even related to... This isn't even related to this. Okay. So, I think... Is that it? Or is there more? I think that's it. Uh, I think that's it for the Awakening quests right there. <laughs> It's kind of an awkward end, but okay. So we need to upgrade our weapon. So can we buy stuff from him? Let's see. Yeah, he has temp. Man, he has. That's a lot of money. But I have it, so let's just buy it. Buy three of them. Okay. So, let's go back to Mevo and recover max durability. Is it not? I thought it... Mevo, you lied to me. It has max durability. All right, so now let's go ahead and enhance. So, enhance this. Blackstone armor. Let's go skip animation. Failed. Okay, 11. Not... Okay, 12. Okay, that was good. It's only got an 8% chance, so this is going to... Okay, we got it to 13. This is where... 
And this is rough. Get it to 14. Oh my gosh, get it to 14. This is tragic. Now my durability is too low. Back to Mevo. Okay. Recover max durability. Stored by 10. Hello? There we go. Oh yeah, I forgot. You gotta like take it out and put it back in. Okay, so there we go. We got it back to 50. So now we should be able to attempt to upgrade again. Throw you in there. There we go. Oh, didn't get to 14. There we go. Plus 14. I might leave it at plus... I mean, we can take one stab at this, because why the heck not? And, okay, obviously we weren't going to get that. Um, not bad. Got it to plus 14 with the free stuff they gave me. Uh, and, uh, spending a little bit of money. What does plus 14 do? 122. That's not, that's not bad at all. I do need to get the durability up if I'm going to use it. I still have yet to decide fully on if I want to get this character to 58 or not. I mean, the reward is really worth it. Uh, it's in Vice of the Volks plus 25 and this fine accessory box, which is an Ogre Ring, Ring of Crescent Guardian, Basilisk Belt, or Tungrad Earring. And all of those are like 100 million. I would probably take the Tungrad Earrings. So let me... Go into Central Market. Accessory earrings. Tungrad. Tungrad earrings are 102 million um, gold. And I'd probably buy a second one and make it pry. I mean, you really want it like up to duos and whatnot. But I think getting a plus 9 attack, a 4 upgrade over my Triant Spirit Whispering Rings for 200 million with a good thing like um, Tungrad which is a higher quality earring in the game, it would probably a be a good idea, but I haven't quite decided yet. Uh, but that's going to do it for this Awakening video. I'm going to take some time and figure out exactly what I want to do um, because I'm still, you know, like I said, not sure what I want to do with my uh, ninja, if I want to call it here or if I want to keep going but uh, that's gonna do it guys i hope you all enjoyed drop a big old like if you did subscribe if you have not and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace